finally, the most expensive water you can find on the planet has its satin bottle covered in Swarovski crystals and inlaid in gold. In Japan, this water is used to make the best sakes. Each water bottle is handcrafted and hence production is limited to 5,000 bottles per month. This is why you have to wait for weeks after placing your order for this particular of water. Hi everyone! Thanks for clicking to my channel today. Hope you're doing well and hope that I could bring something new to you today, specifically on water. Some people say water is not just water. Well, is it? Chemically speaking, it's a combination of two atoms of hydrogen, chemical symbol H and one atom of oxygen, chemical symbol O, which is how we get that famous chemical formula H2O. However, what makes water different from one bottle to the next is what is dissolved in it, what's mixed in together in the solvent of H2O. The quantity of substances dissolved in water is measured by its TDS value. TDS is the shorthand for total dissolved solids. Now, here's where it gets a little complicated, but I'll do my best to explain. So, you would think that the less the TDS value, the better, right? I mean, you wouldn't want any harmful substances in your water now, would you? But the key word here is harmful. You see, the US Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, uses TDS as a secondary standard in terms of water safety and does not, in fact, use a limit, but rather only a guideline. Furthermore, even though the WHO panel of tasters said that a TDS level of more than 1,200 mg per litre was unacceptable, in actuality, many substances can be dissolved in our drinking water. TDS is a measure of this regardless of what they are. So, some say WHO's panel should not be followed without further investigation. What that means is, just because it has a high TDS doesn't mean it is unsafe as per EPA standards. You see, the bottled water that is sold which is from natural sources aren't like your everyday creek or stream or river that you may come across on your hike through the local nature park. They are actually from unique or pristine sources of water. The water collected from these sources are tested and then bottled. Bottled water in the US is regulated by the EPA or Environmental Protection Agency. Most of these are sourced from springs, but not always, as is with the Svalbardi water which is from iceberg. So now that I've cleared up what I mean when I say natural water, why would you choose it instead of purified water? Well, did you know different waters have different textures and even taste? Drinking water can be an experience and not just a necessity we barely think about. Let me give you some examples of natural bottled water. First up is Fiji water. You may be familiar with this one. And yes, it really is from somewhere in Fiji. It is an artesian water. What this means is that the water was forced up from the ground because of pressure from the rocks beneath. It has a TDS level of 222 mg per litre, which gives it a smooth feel during the drinking experience. Next up, we have Svalbardi Polar Iceberg Water from Norway, one of the lowest TDS levels on this list at 21 mg per litre. Understatedly, compared to higher TDS, it is considerably milder in taste and is in fact the mildest I will mention today. In continuation, let's move on to a water with a very strong and even metallic taste. Yes, metallic. Why? Well, because this bottled water has the highest magnesium content of any bottled water in the world. The overall mineral content being so potent, it's even possible to see some solids floating in the water. Want to guess its TDS level? Well, it comes in at a whopping 7,400 mg per litre. Oops, almost forgot to tell you its name. It's called Roy and it's from Slovenia. 
Just a quick reminder, all these natural bottled waters I'm mentioning are considered safe for consumption according to the EPA as it is not just water from random streams or springs, which is definitely not something you want to be drinking. Now, the next brand of natural bottled water I'll mention today is a type of sparkling water. So before I talk about it, let's take a quick look at what sparkling means. Well, actually sparkling water just means carbonated water or water that has carbon dioxide in it. Most sparkling waters are artificially carbonated, but not this one. It is none other than the Spanish brand Vichy Catalan, also very high in mineral content with a TDS of 3050 mg per litre. It's especially high in sodium which gives it a salty taste. Natural bottled water is pricier than its purified counterpart. In fact, they can go for really extravagant prices. Here are the 5 most expensive water in 2021. At number 5, hailing all the way from Scotland, UK, is Ushge sauce. Ushge is the Scottish Gaelic word for water. It is bottled from the private sources either close to or from distilleries in the whisky regions of Scotland. It is 60 US dollars per litre of water. The fourth most expensive in the world, which bottles comes covered all the way to the top in sparkly crystals, rightfully so with its name, Bling H2O, costs 104 US dollars per litre of water. The third most expensive in the world is Svalbardi, which comes from icebergs naturally carved from glaciers into the fjords of Svalbard, about a thousand kilometers from the North Pole. It is 166 US dollars per litre. Coming in as the second most luxurious water in the world is Nivas from Germany. Nivas combines the water of two artesian mineral wells that are several hundred years old. These sources of water has a high content of natural calcium and more than 62 milligrams per 100 milliliters. And it is the first cuvee in the water segment that is also mixed with sparkling carbon dioxide. Finally, the most expensive water you can find on the planet has its satin bottle covered in Swarovski crystals and inlaid in gold. In Japan, this water is used to make the best sakes. Each water bottle is handcrafted and hence production is limited to 5,000 bottles per month. This is why you have to wait for weeks after placing your order for this particular of water. It is sourced from a well deep under the Rokko Mountains of Kobe, Japan. At 616 US dollars per litre of water from Japan, it is Filico Jewelry Water. But just in case you're wondering, most naturally sourced water with its unique blend of original trace minerals is actually much much cheaper than this of course. So why go for bottled water from companies that use natural sources instead of purified water anyway? Firstly, the mineral content can help provide our body those minerals that it may be lacking. Secondly, companies that source from natural sources protect those resources, thereby protecting nature in the process. Finally, drinking these types of bottled water can be an exciting experience beyond just the need of drinking water. By the way, water sommelier Martin Rees recommends all these waters be consumed at room temperature for the best experience. Another common measure of water safety is its pH level. Anything with a pH of 7.0 is considered neutral. Anything below is acidic and anything above is basic, also known as alkaline. If the substance is a liquid, 6.5 to 8.5 is the usual pH of groundwater, with underground sources usually coming in at 6.0 to 8.5 pretty neutral. In fact, too acidic or too alkaline water is definitely not safe. What's worse, water that is too acidic, less than pH of 6.5, can cause leaching of metal ions such as iron and zinc into the water, compounding the danger. Many claim that alkaline water has its benefits, but Martin Rees has his doubts on these claims, especially when they say they balance out our body's pH. 
which with its myriad of complexities requires so many different pH levels to function properly, such as our blood to our stomach environment, all requiring different values. The WHO also states that water with the pH more than 8.0 can be hard to process or disinfect because the chlorination procedure will not be as effective as required. Nevertheless, pH is usually considered as a secondary standard in the US and its levels of restrictive relevance is similar in Canada. Okay, so just a quick recap before I sign off today. Should we be drinking natural or purified water? Purified water is water that is treated to remove harmful substances such as bacteria and fungi, as well as other dangerous microorganisms. Not to mention dangerous quantities of metals such as lead and copper and chemical pollutants. This is good, very, very good. But these processes also remove healthy minerals our body needs. Minerals which are artificially added later into bottled water from non-natural water selling companies. So, while purified bottled water or even purified tap water is definitely safe and much much healthier than water from any random water sources we happen to come by, it apparently doesn't have the specific benefits that the many types of natural bottled water have. With such options on the menu, Maybe you and I could consider mixing up our H2O intake every once in a while, but maybe keep our pH choices around 7.0. With that, we come to the end of today's video, my friends. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed my video, and if you have, a like, share, and subscribe will be very much appreciated. Oh, and if you want to be notified when my next video drops, give that bell icon a click. Till next time, dear viewers, stay safe.